The following is a presentation by Onside Kick. Continue. Come on, they're waiting for you. Shut up. <laughs> I'm trying to teach him. Take teach the lead. Me what? No. Yeah. Do it. Okay. What are we doing? What happened? We're coming at you from where? Where are we? I don't know. Jacob, you got to tell us. Stop. People want to hear you no. speak. <laughs> the pole house. <laughs> oh, my Lord. I'm going to have a heart attack. <laughs> okay. So we're back with another movie review. Woo, woo, woo. This time it is, you may have seen it because I covered my face with it a second ago, but it is uh, Alien Covenant. Ooh, those things are creepy. Don't you love it? Ah, uh, so scary. Watch out for the tail. <laughs> Taking your medication away. <laughs> okay, Jacob, tell us of, um, all the fun stuff right there. So it came out in 2017. It's rated R. It's produced by David Gallard and Walter Hill yet again. They produced the entire series. Um, and also directed by Ridley Scott. It stars Catherine Watterson, Michael Fassbender, Danny McBride, Billy Crudup, Crudup, I don't know. <laughs> These actors in their names, really, honestly. And then Damien Bisher. That's another one. you got to tell us how to say these names because we have no idea. Okay. Yeah. And a quick note of Numi... Uh, Numi. Numi again. We're just going to call her Numi because there's nobody else in the whole world named Numi. Okay. So give us a synopsis. So this one, after Prometheus, now we have this random ship of a colonization crew, and they're out to go colonize a planet. But then a solar flare happens, and it damages the ship or something, and so then... And then they also detect some sort of signal from a nearby planet... Never answer those, answer those signals, because remember in the first one, they answered mm -hmm. a signal, and what happened? Yeah, okay, anyway, continue. And so then they take a vote, and they decide to go to this planet where the signal is, because that's a lot closer than the one they were headed to before. Because everybody was tired of being on a ship. Yeah, and they're afraid of this another solar flare happening and mm, killing more people. Yeah, because they had a bunch of people on board. Yeah, well, it's a colonization. Right, but they might not know what that means. So they had a lot of frozen people on board. So that whenever they start the colony, they can have a population. Yes. And so then they go to this planet, and then this is actually the planet where Elizabeth Shaw ended up at the end of the last one. Well, technically between the first one. That's where she heads. At the end of Prometheus, she leaves. Stop. She leaves with David, and they're, they, he, he thought that she wanted to go back to Earth, but she wanted to go to where the engineers came from. And that was this planet. Okay. And that's where the ship ended up. They find their ship. Okay. So. And more stuff happens. Of course. Otherwise, what kind of movie would that be? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, again, I like the sets. The antagonist was crazy in airborne form. Yeah. So it was almost kind of like the goo stuff from Prometheus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's the stuff that was in Prometheus, but then this time whatever it was was airborne yeah so like somebody just stepped on a mushroom or something some or a little plant thing and it puffed up dust and they breathed it in and got infected mm -hmm. yeah so that was crazy 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 airborne and then it was very creepy that way too because you know there's nowhere safe what'd you like again the atmosphere it does feel like an alien movie it does and it felt like they were maybe on an alien planet which i like which is hard to do when you're on yeah. Earth and you can't go to an alien planet. Right. I like that. <laughs> oh, I'm practicing my beatbox. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> my daughter came in the peanut gallery carrying the fat cat and the fat cat had its back legs wrapped anyway. So it was it was funny. So continue. What did you like about it? <laughs> The atmosphere again. <laughs> this one was much more action-oriented, I think, than Prometheus was. Uh, I think there was more action in it. 
And that's about it right now. Well, and the captain, too, or the... Well, because didn't the captain die, and so the person that took his place or was next in line as captain, wasn't that ha what happened? In and, this one? Yeah. Because, yeah. Because this yes. guy, this guy, I don't know who he is, but this guy ends up being captain, and he's Christian. So I kind of like that, too, that they threw that in there. But they didn't make him crazy religious, you know? Not like some of the zealots they like to right. they like put to on be, movies. They like to paint Christians as crazy sometimes. Yeah. And we're there not. are. There are some, but most of us aren't. Yeah. Or maybe it's the other way around. Most of them are, but you have those that are just this crazy happy high. Okay, anyway. High on the Holy Spirit. Yeah, that's Anyway. Me. Whatever. Okay, so what we didn't like. The ending. Walter against David. Come on. David. Wait. Walter. Oh my gosh. And they're both played by Michael Fassbender. He did a fantastic job doing the both. Mm -hmm. David had evolved. So he is kind of a menace. But Walter, I really liked Walter. And Walter was programmed for everything. So there's no reason in this world for David to have beaten Walter. Kill okay, well, anyway. I actually kind of wish that they didn't use the xenomorph in this. And that's something that I did actually like about Prometheus too, is that it wasn't, there wasn't a xenomorph in it. And I think everyone gets so caught up. As much as I like the xenomorphs, I felt that Prometheus it was trying to focus on the space jockeys. And it, it didn't quite do that. It did, but it didn't. It was it's weird. Yeah, it became more about the crew instead of the space jockey. Yeah, it was, I don't know. I think if it focused more on the space jockey itself, it would have been better. But anyway, and since this is a sequel to Prometheus, I felt it should have continued that. But then... I guess because of the backlash from Prometheus, fans, whatever, then Ridley Scott changed his mind or he altered stuff. But I actually don't think that Xenomorph should have been in this. I also don't like the fact that their explanation for how the Xenomorphs came about in the first place either. Yeah. I don't really like that. Yeah, because... I don't know. Yeah, I, don't, I agree. I think that should have been... I didn't mind that they were in the movie because they were freaky and mm -hmm. um, there was a ton of them. And then at, and, and they were was... different too. Like they they showed them evolving, which was kind of cool. Yeah. But again, I didn't like their re uh, their origin, what they were saying, how they originated. Because mm -hmm. actually, they didn't though, because of Numi. She was impregnated, and she was having a uh, thing, an octopus baby. That was different. <laughs> but it was still going to be a xenomorph. No, it was going to end up being its own thing. Because the thing that came out of the Space Jockey wasn't a proper xenomorph either. That was something else. Well, no, but it was on, like on the track. So like I feel like I feel like that was like the beginnings of the xenomorphs. Maybe not the beginning, but you know like just I don't know. from the human. I don't know. It just see that's the thing with both of these movies. They completely threw in so many different ideas and stuff, and it's just like I don't even know what they're trying to say anymore. You yeah. know. So, but all right. The characters and actors, Michael Fassbender, again, as Walter and David, great mm -hmm. acting. He's a great actor anyway. He's one of my favorites. Yeah, of the um, new batch. Yes. Because, you know, every once in a while we get new batches of people who become famous. Right. And I liked seeing Danny McBride in a serious role because I did see something with him and James Franco, and it was the weirdest thing. I think uh, Natalie Portman was in it too, and it was just, there's only one scene that stands out in my head, and it's very disturbing. So, it was nice to see him in a serious role, and I really liked to see liked him in that yeah i liked michael fassbender as well mm -hmm. and i liked katherine watterson again the main the heroine they always had to get just a really strong woman woman yeah i know that's like uh, required for these alien movies and mm -hmm. predator and... yeah not well well not predator but <laughs> avp avp oh that's what God, i was no, thinking of <laughs> <laughs> Arnold. Well, you know, he was in junior and he did dress like a woman. So anyway, overall thoughts. I thought it was a good movie. Again, um, I liked it better than Promethe Prometheus. We haven't practiced talking during this isolation. so Maybe you haven't. <laughs> you don't talk to people. What are you talking about? I don't do that anyway, though. I know that's what I'm saying. So anyway, um, yeah, so I liked it better than Prometheus. Uh, it still left questions. Mm -hmm. unanswered questions but um i thought it was pretty good yeah i think i did actually like it better than prometheus as well again i think it was more action oriented 
orientated, oriented, oriented, oriented. Okay. oriented. Um, not oriental. <laughs> the peanut gallery is, you know what? We need to have a rear facing camera going the same time that we have this one going so that we can catch her doing her silliness. Maybe. Yeah. Anyway, it was more action oriented. <laughs> um, it was a little bit more closed. Like, it wasn't like Prometheus that left a ton of questions. There were still mm. some questions left open, yeah. but like, I don't think as many as like Prometheus had. I didn't like the ending, but I kind of like where they were suggesting it could have gone because of what he, what David oh, ends right, up doing. Oh, right, 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 yeah. I don't want to say, I don't want to spoil it any more than where you have. Mm -hmm. I like so I didn't like it, but I like where it's suggesting it could go. Yeah, and you know what? I was just thinking, too, about um, their, uh, their origins of the xenomorphs. If we go with the idea that they were already there, but he was just perfecting them. Maybe. Because that's what he kept doing. If you remember, he kept experimenting on this, that, and the other. Finally decided that... What was her character name? Numi? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Yeah. Did we say too much? Sorry. But I would suggest, yeah, watching this movie. Mm -hmm. You know, watch the whole series. It's still um, better than Resurrection. It is better than Resurrection. Oh, my Lord. Some movies should never have been made. Okay, so the rating. I give it another, um, maybe a toothy smiley face. I don't know what that means, but a toothy smiley face instead of just like that. So, like that. Yeah. <laughs> mm, I think he'll still do the smiley face. Meh. He's going to give it a meh. No. Okay, fine. All right, so that's what we thought of Alien Covenant. Again, if you haven't seen it, we suggest you watch it. Oh, yeah, that's who she is. I couldn't picture what she... Mm -hmm. That's Waterston or whatever. Anyway, okay, so um, like... Like, comment, share, subscribe. And share and share and share alike. Okay. Because that's fair. Share, share. That's fair. Mm -hmm. And peanut gallery. Nobody asked for your two cents worth. <laughs> and so that's um, the end of this video. And until the next time. Oh, that's Jacob. That's Mickey. Saying bye from the pole house. Thank you.